What is up guys, Doc Redstone here, and I am here today with a, uh, another custom creation real quick for you. But uh, this custom creation is all made possible because of a new way pistons work, I do believe. Uh, I don't think pistons worked like this before. Um, so as you can see, I have a line of redstone dust block here and a piston. And if I go ahead and push this piston, you can actually see that the redstone dust didn't move the redstone dust actually stayed there and normally I think the redstone dust would have broken but instead the new block is just placed underneath of it however if you use an invalid block such as glass go ahead then it breaks the dust however using a valid block such as you know smooth or uh, the stone bricks goes ahead and keeps the dust there this same principle also applies to uh, torches and uh, redstone torches so, because of that, I was able to create this, and uh, it probably could be a bit more compact, probably not much, but uh, the reason this creation is possible is because of that bug, and uh, basically what this is, is a for loop. Uh, for all you computer science people out there like me, I'm pretty sure you know what this is, and for all of you guys out there who have no idea what I'm talking about, a for loop is a loop that will execute a specific statement a specific number of times. So basically this could, let's break some of this up real quick. This loop right here could maybe, I you know, here's the output. Uh, I could have, you know, f invert this torch a certain number of times. I could have it, um you know, blow up TNT a certain number of times. And the number of times is determined by the piston array and how many items you put into the piston array. So right now, I actually have a glass block and nine stone bricks, which basically will execute nine times before this piston, um, or before this for loop will stop. So, go ahead and start it, and I'll show you guys what I mean and I actually will hook up this output here so you can see what it does and we'll go over here and start up this timer so basically as you can see every second this torch will be inverted and after nine seconds the torch will this loop will cease to operate so we'll go ahead and let it do that. And as you can see, we're on 8, and bam, 9. And because I used a glass block, it actually broke this redstone, and now nothing will go through that loop. So it has operated 9 times. And to go ahead and reset it, you just go ahead, place your piece of glass back over here, and place your dust again. And it will go ahead and restart the whole entire for loop. And uh, this is extremely nice for our adventure maps if you want to execute a certain number of events a certain number of times. Um, you can do this all the way up to 25 seconds um, because the bottom row can push 13 blocks, the top row can push 13 blocks minus a block for the glass. So you can do a 25, um, basically a 25 second loop. Um, if I go ahead and I can even change this up over here, um, I actually have to keep these about at this uh, one second delay in order for the uh, pistons to work. So anyway guys, I thought this was kind of a cool creation, especially for you adventure map dash more technical people. But anyway, this has been Doc Redstone guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like for me. It really helps. Thanks guys. Doc Redstone. Peace out.